We wanted to create a totally new and unique world. There was no setting of era or location. Creating this uniqueness was one of the points that we felt stood out in this particular game. We wanted to place more emphasis on creating a seamless atmosphere, creating the effect of a massive world. We want the players to enjoy the scenery as they travel through the game. That was our biggest aim when creating the landscape. There's essentially the hero, the young boy, and the heroine. And the third character is the horse. The goal is for the hero to restore life to the heroine. They are the three main characters of the game. By far the biggest stars of the game are the Colossi. As for their role within the game, I can't go into any details at this time. I'll leave it up to your imagination. I hope you enjoyed playing the game and discovering that for yourself. The original concept for the Colossi came from Fumito Ueda, the director. He said he wanted gigantic monsters. So after a lot of debate as to whether they should be an animal or a machine, we collected a lot of base material and images. Everything from the motion of cars, to industrial equipment, to hydraulic presses. We brought all the material together, and we decided the player should be unsure as to whether it's living or mechanical. We wanted to make it quite vague, to stimulate the mind of the player as they go through the game. The concept came first from an on-screen perspective of the human frame and the frame of the horse, comparing different size, height, girth and so on. So that was the aspect we focused on initially. Later we wanted to create something visually which would have a huge impact and would best utilize the horse and the game in collaboration with the main character. These were the aspects we took into consideration as we developed both those characters and their partnership. Our modeler and designer created a mock-up of the horse. As opposed to how we worked on Eco, our last game, where we used real horses, with this game we used mock-ups. Some of our staff went out to ride horses for the first time to get a hands-on feel for what it's all about and how it should look on screen. When the team experienced the horse riding firsthand, we sensed a great feeling of joy. It was a really worthwhile experience and we tried to incorporate that feeling as best we could. We hope those feelings are transferred through the character when the player plays the game. The landscape of the game, in physical terms, would be comparable to somewhere like Tokyo. So the fastest mode of transport would obviously be a horse, because you can move from one area to another quickly. The landscape is vast in size, but it's all accessible on your trusty steed. The journey to track a colossus is far more entertaining than simply having boss characters come out one after another. Although that form of game is common and acceptable, in the environment we created, in Shadow of the Colossus, with the picturesque landscapes and so on, the intention was to incorporate the journey as part of the game to entertain a broader audience. 
As far as direction and design are concerned, there is no specific target audience. Eco, our last game, was quite reserved, but on Shadow of the Colossus, the aim has been to increase the emphasis on the fighting. We wanted to create a more lavish feel to the fighting and a more innovative game. The goal was to bring a more challenging game to players who were bored by previous games. Although the mechanics are relatively simple, the game itself, I think, will appeal to a broader audience when it goes on sale.